What's going on guys, Geosnow right here, so in today's video I want to quickly present you an ex the next update that I made for the Yaldo jailbreak for iOS 10.1 to 10.2 and uh, in this update I bring you some interesting feature, let me go ahead in here. Uh, it's available already on um, my GitHub in here, the link is in the description down below. And the feature I'm talking about is the fact that the uh, Yalu interface now shows how many days out of the seven that Apple gives you, you know, you can only sign the app for seven days, have passed. So you always know how many days you have left and on the day six prior to the expiration of the application, it gives you a warning to go ahead and re-sign it with CDI Impactor. Either way, you will no longer be able to use it. So it's a pretty cool feature that I, de I designed in order to, to make sure people keep their apps uh, signed. Because you probably know, um, if you jailbreak with Yalu, you need to resign using CDI Impactor every seven days. Sometimes I personally forget to do that and I end up the, the next few days after it um, it gets unsigned that I can no longer open the app and I can no longer jailbreak. And guess what? I don't have a computer right next to me at that moment. So this will, will help you to stay in shape and it will help you to keep your apps always up to date so that you can jailbreak at any time. Now, uh, in order to install it, it's of course the IPA. Uh, you have the, uh, the two IPAs in here. Going to my project page. In here, click IPA build. You can also download a project and I'm totally transparent with my code. So you have the uh, the entire source code and with any modifications and so on um, that I did on my GitHub. You can download it and modify it or check it to see what you're installing. And you have the two IPAs pre-compiled for those of you who have Windows. This one right here is the beta 7, the stock one with the dark user interface. You know, yellow dark that I created and then you have this uh, Beta 7 SL012 that it actually contains that um, Yalu dark interface but also contains the certification details, how many days have passed and how many you have left and so on. I'm going to show you in a couple of seconds how it looks like but here you have the IPAs. If you don't like the new update you can still use the Beta 7. What you should keep in mind is that this is not the official Yalu, this is my own fork of Yalu. Uh, the code for jailbreaking is the same but it has different features, different user interface and so on. Let's go and see how it looks like. Now in order to install it you drag it in CDI Impactor and you need to log in using your Apple ID and password. It will show you this, you probably know the procedure, this is how you resign it by the way. It will sign the IPA. Uh, keep in mind that if you sign it too many times, I mean for too many devices in a week, you will need to wait a bit. Now let's go to the device and see how it looks. So this is the device guys, as you can see when you install the Yalu, Yalu Dark, my version, it looks like this and the certification status looks like this. It says one days out of seven. When you install it, it's the first day and then it counts each day the, the days and when it reaches the day six, you're going to get a notification when you open Yalu, a pop-up that tells you, you know, you only have 24 hours left, you should go ahead and resign your Yalu. And uh, yeah, that's actually what it does. I really hope this is uh, useful for you and will help you keep track of the uh, the days the certification will uh, will still be in place. And uh, if it does, if it helps you, tell me in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumb up and don't forget to check out the source code available in the description down below and never use IPAs that do not provide source code for a jailbreak. Peace out.